Can I vacuum seal my own filament? I have no idea, but we're about to find out right now. Since I live in the Seattle area, I have a lot of moisture in the air and it makes my filament very brittle if I don't keep them in bags. Uh, one thing I've tried are these aftermarket bags where you use a pump that sucks all the air out and it keeps them pretty tight for a while, but just reverts back to a normal bag again. This is what my filament currently looks like. As you can see, I have everything in bags and they're not really airtight. This is the unit that I bought from Anova and it's actually supposed to be a sous vide tool uh, for French cooking. We're just gonna see if this works. The bags that I got are from Wevac and there's a hundred bags in here and I think the filament should fit in here with these dimensions. These are some desiccant packs that I already had. You can reactivate these in the oven once they get saturated and we're gonna try this out. So click this. Oh my gosh. Now I did the auto function. It feels like the deformation is a bit too much. This is also a cardboard spool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to open the bag again and I'm going to reseal it, but I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna do it manually so that it doesn't crunch the spool down this much. What? This is amazing. <laughs> as far as I can see, this is a really good solution for me for long-term storage. Um, some of these colors, I love them, but I don't use them every day. So I need a solution that keeps them fresh for a long period of time. Is this a good alternative to using the zipper reusable bags with the hand pump? Um, or maybe you use the plastic storage bins to store your filament. Let me know in the comments if you would try this solution. If you think this solution might work for you, I will list these products in my link tree and you can find that in my bio.